I enjoy explaining weather, so I've been to a lot of schools over the years to talk to kids about weather and careers in meteorology. And one of the things I always do is take my bag of science experiments. In that bag, I have this a cloud in a bottle and it's a quick and easy experiment I'm gonna do that here for you what I have is a bottle and I have water in the bottom of the bottle nothing in the top it's just water vapor right now you can't see water vapor because it's a gas but you can see the water because it is a liquid the reason that water is pink is because I've been adding chalk dust to the bottle in order for clouds to form you need condensation nuclei uh, the condensation nuclei can be anything from dust to sea salt to smoke in the atmosphere. And what it does is as the droplets are forming, they form around those little tiny particles called condensation nuclei. So in order for clouds to form, that is important to have in the atmosphere. Well, we've got our atmosphere right here, our mini atmosphere. We've got water, water vapor. Our condensation nuclei is in the bottle. Now, in order to get those droplets to form, we have to cool down the bottle. How are we going to do that? Well, I think the quickest and easiest way is to change the air pressure in the bottle. I'm going to use this little pump, and I'm going to pump up the bottle, and that's going to compress the air in the bottle. It's going to cause higher pressure inside the bottle. The air is compressing, and it's warming up, actually. Now, we want it to cool down, but here's the thing. When I get this all pumped up and I release the cork, the air is going to escape very rapidly and lower pressure will develop in the bottle. We will see that air escaping quickly and that will allow the air to expand, the air molecules to expand and cool the bottle down. Just the opposite. When you pump it up, you compress the air, you're warming it. When you let the air expand, it cools and that's what we're going to do here. So when I let go of this cork, you're going to see these the water vapor in the bottle is going to turn to droplets, all right? So I'll pump it a little bit more and make sure we get a good change in air pressure here. And when I, exp when I let the cork go, the cooler air will be in the bottle and a cloud will form. And there it is. You can see the droplets in the bottle. And now the cloud, which is in the bottle, will gradually evaporate because of the warmer air getting back inside the bottle. So there you have it, a cloud in a bottle.